A long time ago, when I was a young teenager, my mother wrote a book. It was a book about our family's pets. Well, sort of. So on a warm November evening in 1963, we found ourselves in a parade on the way to the world premiere of the Walt Disney adaptation of her book, The Incredible Journey. But this premiere was not in Hollywood. It was in our hometown of Port Arthur in Northwestern Ontario. My mother was piped into a standing ovation and was escorted to the stage by both mayors. She was overwhelmed by the response. After all, it was the first book she'd ever written. It's the first book I've written, yes. I always wanted to, but I was very lazy and never did anything about it. And then I found I had to write some scripts for the a puppet club in Port Arthur. There was a deadline on the time they had to be ready, and I think it was that that finally made me sit down and write. And from then on, I haven't been able to stop. At the age of 20, she was one of the first women in Scotland to get her aviator's certificate. Of course, as much as she loved flying, the rumor was that she loved her flying instructor more. To keep her company, my father gave her his beloved bull terrier, Bill. As the war waged on, Sheila and Bill formed an unbreakable bond. The story itself isn't true. The actual adventure, the traveling, but the characters of the animals are completely true. And incidents that happened on the way. And I think that what I had done there was to take my three animals and put them on a journey and let them behave on that journey in the way I'd seen them behave at home towards one another and from that the story grew. beautiful for once, was coming as fast as he could. He broke into a run, faster and faster, until the years fell away, and he hurled himself towards Peter. And as he had never run before, Peter was running towards his dog. Soon they were an indistinguishable tangle of boy and dog in a world of their own. Longridge started down the trail, and soon he became aware of a small animal running at lightning speed towards him the cat, returning for his old friend, that they might end their journey 